safest thing to create videos on if you're not sort of doing the market update thing or in addition to the market update thing, because that's always the best thing, is by looking at my mate, Marcus Sheridan. And he wrote a book called They Ask, You Answer. And it's quite a thick book, actually, but it's a really easy read about content marketing. And in Transform over the years, we've looked at various parts of They Ask, You Answer and the Big Five. Like, what are the questions that consumers, like, you know, the just listed, just sold things. I mean, yes, I think you need them for social proof, but they're not really the things that consumers are interested in if they're not in real estate mode. But if you can continually and gently educate people on the things that the consumers are interested in, and he categorized the things that we're interested in into five categories, five easy categories, which is cost, problems, comparisons, reviews, and the best. And so you could read the whole book and I recommend you do, but if you could just come up with a series of questions that would give you content videos from now until the end of the year with chat GPT, would you do it? Yeah. <clears throat> so the prompts we're going to use look something like this. Are you familiar with Marcus Sheridan's They Ask You Answer? Are you familiar with the big five? I'm a real estate agent. Could you come up with a list of a hundred questions I could answer on video categorized by the big five? So let's just swap over to chat GPT for a moment. Open up our new window. And this is what this one looks like. So you can get a nice little summary of they ask you answer right there. Are you familiar with the big five? So these are the big five that we just talked about. Okay. And then I'm a real estate agent. Could you come up with a list of a hundred questions? So we can just come up with a hundred questions at once and then film them, bang, and they're done. And then we just feed them out across social media. So, so here we go. It's just giving us a bunch of questions that we can answer. Now I'm just going to let that run for a moment. Um, there's a cool new feature that I noticed in chat GPT just this morning. And that is that you can now go and, um, that's a cool one. Condo versus townhouse. What's right for me? Old home versus new build pros and cons. There's some really interesting topics here. Do you agree that you could deal with traditional sale versus auction? What are the benefits? But anyway, back over here. So there's this thing that I just happened this morning, actually. So. Let's take the, I want something that's relatively interesting. Best practices for first time home buyers, best time of the year to buy or sell. Best ways to increase your home's value. Best reno. Okay, let's go with this one. So you can see how this little quote thing has come up. Like now you can hit reply. And so now that I've selected that, I can go, all right. I'm a real estate agent in Broad Beach Waters. I want to create a one minute video answering this question. Can you help me? So this is just, this is hot off the press. You know how OpenAI are constantly tweaking their models and stuff. So hopefully that should come up with like a video script for me. Hello, Broad Beach Waters homeowners. So we couldn't like literally read this out. Hello, Broad Beach Waters homeowners. Planning to refresh your older home? Let's explore the best renovation projects to enhance its charm and value. Kitchen updates. First up, the kit. Okay, so I hate this already. And the reason I hate this is because on Facebook and things like that, I am competing with someone's kid walking. I'm competing with someone's cute dog video. Someone's posted something on the American election. Someone's posted something on maths. And my little property video is just, you know, someone's just scrolled past it. But but what I could do now is I could do something which I recommend everybody does and, you know, can you please suggest 10 catchy hooks. And hopefully, because if you don't, if you don't grab people in the first couple of seconds, they're going to dory away from you. But all of these look quite a bit better, you know, but I might, if we went to transform your Broad Beach Waters home from vintage to Vogue, that might be a bit better. The other thing, oh, it's got a call to action. Take me today and let's make your home stand out. All right. I don't love that either because if I'm a real estate agent and someone has forsaken 
someone's kid walking, the cute dog video, the election rubbish, the maths recap, and actually gotten to the end of my video, I want to make sure that my phone number's at the end of it and that it's very strong on how to contact me. And so I would say that with anything that you, you know, any of these video scripts that you do, you make sure that it's got a really nice hooky thing at the beginning to hook people in and a really strong call to action at the end and keep it snappy. Don't worry about those fancy, you know, sort of intros and outros anymore. No one's got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So you just want to hook people, give them the information quickly and get out. Yeah. And if you're short a hook, I wrote a GPT actually for creating hooks. So it's called Hookmaster. If you just search for me in the GPT store, you know, 10, let's just 10 ways to update your home for sale. Let's just say that's the headline. So you put in your headline that's not the best and Hookmaster will come up with some alternatives. Oh, that's a good one. Transforming your home for sale goes beyond a simple cleanup. It's about strategic upgrades that scream by me. You know, so if you're ever lost for, if you're ever lost for a headline, try Hookmaster. Because it just goes through like, you know, scientifically what people will be drawn to. 